The movable cursor feature was added to TouchChat in version 2.41. In this tutorial, you will learn about what the movable cursor does, how to add buttons to your vocabulary file to incorporate this feature, and how to use it within TouchChat. So what is a movable cursor? A movable cursor allows you to place the cursor wherever you need it within the speech display bar to correct or edit your message. This can be done by directly placing the cursor where you want it in your message or by using buttons within your vocabulary file to move the cursor where it needs to go. You can add these buttons onto a page using the Move Cursor button actions. They will allow you to move the cursor by character, word, or sentence using up, down, left, or right actions. To add these buttons to a page, determine where you want the page to be linked from. We could use a button from the keyboard page for easy access. Go to Menu, then Edit Page. Select the colon button, then edit this button. You can give the button a label if you would like, or just delete the current label. Then we can add an image of arrows to tell us what the button is. Go to Select Image and use the magnifying glass to search for arrow. Choose the symbol you would like. Scroll down to the button actions. Tap on Speech Message to change that button action. Scroll to Navigate Button Action and select it. Tap on the plus sign to create a new blank page. Name the page, then tap on Save. Choose your page animation, then Save. Tap on Done, then select the button to take you to the new page. Now we need to add buttons to this new blank page. Go to Menu, then Edit Page. Choose a button to edit and select Create New Button. For this button, we're going to leave the label blank and scroll down to the button actions. This button will allow us to toggle between moving by character, word, or sentence with our arrows. Change the button action and scroll to Cursor Mode. Tap on it. We are going to use Cycle to toggle through, but you could designate buttons to choose character, word, or sentence mode. Tap on Save. The button will appear blank for now, but we'll have text on it when we leave Edit Page. Next, we will add the arrows. Select where you want to add the first arrow, then Create New Button. We'll label this one Up. Then select the symbol you want to use for the Up arrow. Scroll down to Button Actions and change the button action to Move Cursor. Tap on it and select which direction this button will move the cursor. Repeat these steps to add the other directions to buttons. We can also add a button to be able to place the cursor within the speech display bar without using arrows to move the cursor. Select a button and create a new button. Give the button a label and scroll down to the button actions. Change the button action to Place Cursor, then Save. Finally, we will add a button to go back to the keyboard page. Select the button and create new button. Give the button a label and choose an image. Scroll down to button actions and change to Navigate Back. Choose your page animation and select Save. Select Done to exit Edit Page. You're now ready to use this page to edit your speech display bar. Create your message. Then go to your movable cursor page. Select the mode you want to be in and move the cursor to the place you want to go. Edit your message.
Then you can place your cursor at the end of the message and continue speaking. I want more pretzels. You can also use a press and hold of the speech display bar. Go to Menu, Settings, then go down and allow place cursor. Create your message. Press and hold the speech display bar, then select place cursor. The speech display bar will change color and now you can tap where you want the cursor to go. We can adjust this with our movable cursor buttons. Correct your message and you're all set. Let's go for a walk.